So today guys, we will be having a DIY Samgyeopsal at home. But before we start this video, make sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you will be updated whenever I release new video. First thing that I will be doing is to go to a Korean Mart to buy the ingredients that we will be needing for our DIY Samgyeopsal. But first, I'll fetch my cousins because they will be coming with me to the Korean Mart. So we are already here at their house, so I'll just wait for them to come. Nah. Where are you going? Mm. We are now on the way to Seoul. It is a snack side dish grocery and cafe located at Lakson Street near Musho Restaurant. After we park the car, we go straight to Seoul and check if they have what we need. <laughs> Since we are looking for more Korean ingredients, so we will be going to the next Korean grocery named KO Mart. Located at 19th Street near McDonald's La Salle. After a while of driving, we finally arrive at KO Mart. I will just park my car and we will go straight inside and check for the things that we can buy. Normal temperature. <laughs> After some time of checking, the things I bought are Korean griller, bulgogi sauce, mirin, soju, samjang, and beef bulgogi fried noodles. After we finished buying at the Korean Mart, we went to my friend's burger business named Ban the Burger Bar located at the University Courtyard right in front of the University of St. LaSalle Bacolod for San Mariana.
will now be going to a veggie farm to buy lettuce. We decided to buy here because it is freshly picked and much cheaper. This plastic costs 50 pesos each. Then I dropped my cousins and went straight here at Metro Grocery to buy Korean barbecue cuts and US beef sukiyaki. I decided to buy here because the Korean mart only have marinated ones. I want to buy unmarinated ones because I want to marinate it with whatever I want at home. After buying everything I need, I will now be going home and prepare the ingredients for our DIY samgyeopsal. I am now going to marinate our pork and beef. First is the salt and pepper pork. I used the salt and pepper mix from one of my Japanese subscribers, but if you don't have, you can just use any salt and pepper that you have at home. Then the pork and beef bulgogi. I used the bulgogi sauce that I bought from Korean Mart. Then lastly, the peri peri pork. I used the peri peri sauce that I have at home. You can also use any marinade that you want, like soy and garlic marinade or anything of your choice. Then let's plate it to make it more presentable and appetizing, and so that we can feel the Samgyeopsal vibe even though we are just at home. Then let's put it inside the fridge and take it out right before we start. Let's now wash the lettuce thoroughly and plate it. Then after, let's make pamuchim or scallion salad. All you have to do is wash and cut it just like this and boil it in a hot water for a minute, then drain it and put it in a bowl. And mix it with salt, pepper, vinegar, sugar, and chili powder but since i already like the flavor of gochujang so i'll just use it and mix it with the scallions now let's prepare the kimchi that we bought from the korean mart then cook our ramyeon and homemade samgyeopsal cheese right before we start and this is the outcome of our homemade samgyeopsal cheese and if you want to know the recipe just let me know in the comment section below after we finish preparing everything, let's now prepare the table and take out everything that we need from the fridge. So these are the things that we have in the table. Sliced cucumbers, sliced onions, ramyun, Spices, mirin, Japanese chocolates from a Japanese subscriber, roasted seaweeds, homemade samgip sal cheese, pork and beef, mango graham cake, homemade bust burnt cheesecake, soju, lettuce, kimchi, pamuchin, and different kinds of sauces.
After some time of preparation, we came to the most awaited and exciting part, the grilling and eating time. So this is how I eat some gypsum. I'll put meat and side dishes onto the lettuce and eat it this way. After a flavorful dinner, it is now time to mix the soju with soda, then eat some dessert and drink the soju. After finishing the soju, it is now time for some red horse beer and karaoke. So that's it for today's video guys. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on my next video. If you guys enjoy watching this video, don't forget to give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for Shoutout. Peace out.